And first up here at 11 tonight, the state's biggest school district is looking for ways to tighten its belt. Good evening to you. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. IPS is weighing several options in hopes of avoiding pink slips for current teachers. Rafael Sanchez with a story you will only see here on RTV6. While IPS is on spring break, the school system is looking for ways to put the brakes on its future spending. The decision to delay a referendum worth millions of dollars means the district must make tough budget choices before classes start in the fall. We want to do it in such a way where it's not harmful. Um, we may create some discomfort, but at the end of the day, the goal is to maintain services to students' families and continue to recognize and value our employees who've been loyal to us uh, and we hope will be continued to be loyal to us during these difficult financial times. Superintendent Dr. Lewis Faraby says some of the possibilities on the table include freezing hundreds of current open positions, reducing cell phone use, and cutting professional development expenses. We've debated and wrestled with, you know, do we, uh, you know, keep staffing where it is today? Another option, the possibility of furloughs for administrators at the central office. Over the summer, um, might we all just take, you know, a day or two off unpaid, you know, as a means to generate some savings? Yeah, I'd be willing to do that. Um, you know, I, I think we, we are open to as many ideas possible that would protect the classroom and services to students and families. Those budget talks will continue next month and looking over the options on the table and any other ideas. If there are any teacher layoffs, Mark and Amanda, those notices per the union must be made officially by the end of June. Our Rafael Sanchez with the latest on that. Now